Sniper Elite short video game review. You are playing as an undercover OSS agent, a lone sniper in the city of Berlin. You are trying to prevent the Soviet secret police from obtaining a nuke in the closing days of the Second World War. So you're basically trying to postpone the Cold War by a little. Although, you know, to the characters in this game, I suppose the idea is to avoid it altogether. But immediately we see a problem. Even if you win this game, you're not doing something historically all that important. The, you know, the Cold War would have been going on for longer or started earlier, but yeah, you're not preventing something that would have been... And in general, it's, it's at times strange that this has you pitted against the Soviets rather than the Nazis. Especially with it being set in the Second World War. This is a first-person shooter, or third-person shooter, really, where the sniping is the main thing. The only time you're in first-person mode is when using your scope for the sniper rifle. You have grenades, you can throw TNT, all of this with, you know, an arc, and if you shoot the TNT it'll blow up, and that's the way to make it blow up in general. And you can use that to take out tanks. You can set up trip wires, which you have a certain amount of control over, and in general, you may have to do more than just the sniping. Probably to broaden the appeal, but it does lose some of the impact of the stealth because of it. The stealth is quite well done, especially as far as sniping goes. You can hide the sound of firing your sniper rifle in an artillery blast if you... The, the bullet physics are quite effective. You can turn them off, but it won't quite be as fun of a game if you do. And when they're on, you literally have to account for bullet drop, wind strength, your posture, and your breathing. And all of this makes when you make, makes it all the more satisfying when you get the a, a really great shot and your bullet will travel through the target you you hit so you you can hit two three even four enemies with the same one bullet if they're lined up properly you can shoot an enemy to only wound him lure, luring out the you know his fellow enemies you can get silent kills with your silent pistol overall though it does it it doesn't have a lot of plot, and a lot of the time you are really just doing these very typical World War II shooter objectives of protecting an ally, you know, performing sabotage, moving from point A to point B, assassinating someone important. But where the game really excels is when it is straight up sniping. Sneaking can be extremely useful. And because of the watch that is literally accurate to real life, the, you know, one second in the, the game will mean one second in real life. And the sadly too few levels where things happen at certain times, you may have to hold a position for, you know, specifically five minutes, even though there are enemies approaching, or you may have to move from one position to another in a certain amount of minutes. And it also comes into play when you're using timed explosives, which you can set from anywhere from 1 minute to 30 minutes. I never actually waited 30 minutes, but it can be quite useful if you have to bomb multiple targets, and you can either make sure that you're far away from a target when it blows up, luring enemies over there, or you can time several explosions so they go off at the same time. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.